Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back today with uh, an unboxing I've been sent I what I believe is the March Your Creative Studio box. It's um, Your Creative Studio. Um, yep, yeah, Amanda very kindly has sent me this box to um, to share with you and to show you what's in a box. Um, so it's this little card. Um, and I believe it's a pen pal themed box because it says letters are among the most significant memorial a person can leave behind. So there we go. Nice little card. And we'll open the box. Let's just take everything out and set the box aside. Always love this beautiful paper that the box comes in. We just push that to the side as well. And wow. Well, let's just start from the top down. So these are what looks kind of like postage stamp cancellation type things. Um, now, are they stickers? think they might be. Yes, these are stickers. So you get those ones and these kind of postal type ones, a nice stripey pattern and whatnot. Um, some more postal type and some um, various countries, Hong Kong, Australia, New York. Um, yeah. No Glasgow ones. <laughs> so they're useful for collage and whatnot. So we'll just set them aside there. This is, what are these? These look like little tickets. Even the things they come in are always lovely. The little packaging. So these are little tickets. Let me see if I can spread them out. These are cute, very cute, nice postally type words on them and some postage cancellation markings. Um, yeah, and they've got like as if they've been torn at either end. Do you know what I mean? Like four tears. <laughs> So they'll be really useful as well in, in collages, picking out of things. Perfect. Oh, look. Oh, a little charm. Let's see if we can get this out, this little plastic bag. It's a little envelope with a little heart. How cute is that? Let's put that back in the bag because we want that to be safe. Stamp cling stamp. Let's see if we can get this label off carefully because then we can reuse that envelope. <laughs> so a rubber stamp which is oh a cute little child with a book. Do you see? A really highly etched thick rubber stamp. So that's Perfect for a pen pal themed journal or happy mail to someone. This is another stamp. Oh, two stamps. A stamp of a stamp, a triangular stamp. Again, nice thick red rubber and another postage with an, an address in a cancellation stamp by the post office so that will be really useful i love postally type um, stamps you can make full postage stamps or full postcards all sorts of things can be done with postagey type things okay this is the washi mm beautiful colour. Let's see if we can get the end. Oh, 
Oh, that's got postage cancellations on it too and nice writing, calligraphy writing. Yeah, that's lovely. Nice neutrally colour that too. That'll match anything. Just leave that there as well. Here's another stamp. Wow. We'll maybe stamp these stamps out just to show you. Because you can't really, I think, make out what they are. Wow. So that's a letter box, a letter holder with some letters and an inkwell with a feather quill. It's beautiful. Oh, and a letter writing set. So, letter writing sheets. Those ones and those ones. Beautiful for pen pal letters. Or that could be a beautiful background in a journal too. As is these, the envelopes that match. Beautiful. So, nice paper ephemera. Lovely. And more. More envelopes and letter writing. Uh, letter writing. More envelopes and paper. a different pattern. Oh lovely. So there's five, six of them. Five, six. Six florals and six grey florals. And again the envelopes to match. Beautiful. And again if you're not a letter writer you can easily make one of those envelope journals they would that would make a beautiful journal wouldn't it that's gorgeous envelopes absolutely and oh, oh little stickers little washi stickers little clear washi stickers they are gorgeous a dove bringing you written news So, bigger ones, middle ones, littler ones. Beautiful even just to put on the envelope. It's like a little seal on your envelope. Lovely. And what is this? This feels like maybe tissue paper or rice paper. I bet you're all wondering what's in that box. <laughs> See if we can get this. Oh, yeah, tissue paper. That's beautiful. So, how many sheets of this? Three, five, five sheets. Beautiful. Oh, um. Static electricity made it stick to the desk there. And isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely. Right. Now. Wow. A box. Oh. A glass dip pen. I have always, always wanted one of these. Wow, how gorgeous is that? Oh, I can't wait to give it a go. Can't wait. It's absolutely, isn't that just beautiful? Oh, that's going to go out and display on the desk for sure. <laughs> so, let's just have a little recap. There's the tissue paper. There's the nice washi stickers. There's writing paper. 
and the envelopes. There's the washi tape. That's packaging. There's more writing paper in envelopes. That's packaging. And there are one, two, three, four stamps. That's all packaging. There's these little tickets. Perfect. There's oh, the little charm. And all of these stickers. So I'll leave the link to your creative studio in the description box um, if you fancy getting a box. Okay, so now I am going to go and think about what I might do as a little project. But you know, I don't think I can wait. I think I'm going to have a go and show you maybe my first go with a dipping pen if you want to come along with me because that's I'm very very excited about that so just give me a second till I get some paper and some ink out and I'll be right back okay I'm back and I've gathered a few bits of ink and some watercolor and some ink pads to have a go with the pen I'm very excited about this. It's fresh out the box and it's, <laughs> I can't tell you how gorgeous it is. Um, so I've got diam diamine ink, which is proper fountain pen ink. Um, I've got concentrated watercolour, which is just liquid watercolour. And I have some distress, I have a distress oxide and a couple of Distress ink pads. Um, I've also got my watercolours. My watercolour palette and my watercolour pencils. So we'll just have a play around and see how the pen works with all the different things. A quick go at everything just to see how it works. I've also brought some um, mixed media paper which is a uh, more of a textured paper it's just uh, i got this in our local hobby craft but it's just mixed media paper which is kind of like watercolor paper um, i've also brought some smooth um, bristol board this is ultra smooth um, i think this is my last sheet yep let's just take it out of there last sheet um, extra smooth surface Bristol board. So we'll try it on the um, the watercolour and we'll try it on the smooth. And then we'll just see what we prefer, what works well. Um, and let's try the ink first. So I've got Ancient Copper and Eclipse. Let's try the Ancient Copper because that just sounds lovely. Right, so all we do is dip and then just get a little bit of excess off. So you can see that the ink has gone up the grooves on the, the nib. Let me just put the lid on that because that would just be a disaster. Right, okay, let's give this a go. We'll use it on the smooth first and I'm just going to write, I hope you can see how this goes. So let's do, now I'm not a calligrapher by any manner of means, but I can tell that this is fun. Oh wow. How cool is that? That is very cool. Yeah. 
So you can see that just by one dip, you get quite a lot. Now, you, because this is smooth and it's not porous, the ink sits on the card a little bit. You can see the D there, there's a little, so you would need to um, let it dry before you do anything with that, or maybe treat yourself to some blotting paper. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> maybe that would be really fancy. Right, let me just get a little sheet off of this. Oh, that just came off easily there. Right, and again, we'll just try it on. This is the rougher paper. And it probably will sink into this. Hmm. It, it's more, um, I think it's more thicker. It comes out maybe a bit thicker on the watercolour paper. Right, so to clean this ink off, all we do, oh, <laughs> how cool is that? Is give it a little swoosh in some plain old water and it just cleans off. And we're good to go to go with something else. What will we try next? Let's try the watercolour. So the good thing or one of the advantages of one of these pens is that you can write with any colour that you want. Anything you want. I'm going to leave that down there. And let's have a little dip in the watercolour. Just take the excess off on the edge there. There we are. So I'm quite well loaded. I would think I could go about halfway up the nib. Right, let's try this on the smooth. Oh, oh that's watercolour is lovely. Oh, I could get lost in a world doing this. How cool is that in the green? Let's try the watercolour on the watercolour card. Yep. So it's good to know that you don't need to buy special ink. It works with the watercolour, so that's a tick for the watercolour, but it's sitting on the paper more than the ink did. I think we'll need to wait on that drying longer. I think that first two rows with the fountain pen ink is dry quicker than the watercolour. Okay, let's, what will we try next? Let's try, let's try a Distress Oxide. So for this, we just, let me get my papers out of the way for now. Just get maybe one of your acrylic blocks or a plate or a saucer or whatever you've got. And let's put some ink on there. And then we will just take a paintbrush and add some of the water to the ink. Now this might be a hit, bit of a hit or a miss, how much water, how runny do you have to make that for it to pick up? Oh, yeah, it's clinging to those grooves. So all the way around, just to load up the nib, I think that will probably do that. 
So this is Distress Oxide Faded Jeans. Let's give it a go on Let me give it a go on the smooth first. So smooth. This means you could do some lettering on some labels or directly on your journal page and then you could distress round the ends edge with a matching ink and your writing, your journaling would match that's cool isn't it? Your you could stamp with that and colour and then write and oh yeah everything would match yep it works well in the watercolour paper too mm. and you can tell when it's slightly running out of ink and you can just twirl it a little bit and then you'll get a new groove do you know what I mean? So you'll get a new groove for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so Distress Ink works well. Right, let's clear off a little bit. Just clean the brush, clean that, dip dip the nib. What will we try next? I think we'll try watercolour pencil next. So I have my ink tense. Let's try this purpley pink colour. Ink tense watercolour pencils and again we're just going to use some water and lift some of the colour from the pencil onto something non-porous right and then we're going to lift that from there try to do this with hold that with my left hand my left hand is absolutely I'm so right-handed it's not true I can't do anything with my left hand <laughs> but when you want to do something like this, you need your left hand. Right, that's it loaded up, I think. Right, let's try the smooth first. Oh, oh that's nice. That gives you a nice watery effect. Maybe because I added more water to that. So I suppose it depends when you're using things that you're adding water to. The effect you get changes. I lost my place in the alphabet there because I'm speaking. It depends on how much water you're using. So you can see how it's gathering in little pools. And so when that dries, you'll get a nice watercolour watery effect, I think. So let's try it on the watercolour paper. I have to say, I think I prefer the smooth paper. I'm running out of ink, just need to load it up a bit again. But I think we've tested that enough. So I have, oh wait a minute. Let's do it this way. Wipe that off. Wipe the brush. And then do that. Dip. It cleans really easily. Right, I've got one last thing. I have my pan. My watercolour pan. So we will grab... Let's see a colour that we've not used. There's a nice teal colour. 
We'll see how much water we need. So this means that anything water-based that you've got in your stash already can be used on the pen. Oh, I think I'm going to like this colour. Just think, you can write to all your Happy Mail pen pals in all these lovely different colours. Yeah, you can see how that's dried a little bit thicker than the others. Right, let's give watercolour pans a go. Kind of the same as the pencil. Oh, I can tell I'm going to have loads of fun with this. That's beautiful. And on the watercolour paper. I think with this being rougher, it's just not as smooth to write on. I think that's what it is. I think I prefer the smoothness of the smooth card. Yes, I think I definitely do. And you could even... You could even doodle. Oh, and then you could add a little bit of highlight. <laughs> so it's not just for writing, you could doodle as well. Okay, let's tidy that up. So I don't think there's anything I haven't shown you. I haven't used these, but it will be much the same, I think, as that. Let's just clean that off. Here we are. And I'm going to sit it back in its bed. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to go there. I hope that was useful. And I hope if you get one of these boxes that you'll have a go with the pen and you'll be able to make loads of lovely uh, other things with the rest of the box. And I'll be back another day to do another project with some of the other contents in the box. So thanks for joining me today and if you've liked the video a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.